name of the big camp came about because it was originally a fishing camp. And for its day, it turned into a big camp. My great-grandfather and his friend, Sam Seeger, came down here as teenagers and hunted and fished. And they both decided when they had the means to build little fishing cabins. He chose this spot because of the water in front of it. It's got good deep water. Um, it's accessible, but it has enough height as to give you a good vantage point. Unless you've actually stayed at the house, you may not completely understand how special it is to be perched on the water like this. So my friend, Peter Breeze, who is also an architect, has spent a lot of time on the property and we've always talked over the years. And one of the things that has evolved since it's been on the market is people will come out, they'll take a look at it, but it's a lot to digest. So we thought, well, let's, let's help that process along. Let's give people a visual and let's also give them something that is tangible and, and realistic and practical. So that we're not just saying, gee, this would be great. It's this would be great and you can do it. Because this house has you know, been here forever and is so far out on the bluff, it gets this fascinating view of Cape Pogue Bay and that is an irreplaceable asset to to the property because any new construction has to move back a hundred feet and when you move this building back a hundred feet you're no longer looking up the gut to Cape Pogue Bay you're kind of directed only straight out so what we're trying to do is really try to make a point about this value such that a potential buyer could restore that house in place but with a completely different layout to the internal rooms because the house as a shell is fabulous it's spacious it has all the right pieces but the layout is really not optimized now so the proposal is what we call a gut renovation it takes the insides and reworks them but it preserves the entire shell. I would say the big picture is that the property needs new construction accessory structures that complement the two buildings that are in the shore zone that infuse the property with one more missing element. What I would suggest is a, is a beautiful swimming pool and pool terrace, uh, an additional detached bedroom suite, and a proper garage and storage space. And to have these elements work as a compound is, is a terrific uh, way of taking advantage of the size of this property. It's not just waterfront, but it's, it's a very large lot and it has terrific exposure in all directions, interesting water views. Mm -hmm. 